Hey, what's up, guys? Well, let's go back here, and today we're gonna be playing some Beast Hunter. Uh, this is a new version of Beast Hunter that I found online that looked very interesting. I don't remember ever playing the deck with Dread Scale, and I have one. I believe I opened this not so long ago. So I was just like, you know what? Screw it. Let's let's try this Beast Hunter deck that has Dread Scale. It looks kind of interesting. I've also never played with Don't Feed the Animals, which also looks kind of interesting and also also obviously the new weapon i think this weapon is actually really really underrated uh so i'm excited to try it um yeah i don't actually have much else to say it's beast hunter we are playing the deck does play master's call now which is very very interesting uh i i've liked this card ever since it was printed i thought it was one of the coolest draw spells ever printed to be fair three mana draw three is also just ridiculously broken um but yeah Anyways, with all that being said, how about let's queue up the first game and let's see how it goes. Alright guys, yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys all in the first one. Alright, first matchup is a Warlock. So that's interesting. Keep the Master's Call, obviously. I'm going to keep the Shade Hound as well. Uh, I think both of these cards are ridiculously good. I'm so upset that my headphones are falling apart. <laughs> I think I've talked about this now like almost every single video. But it's so hard to like even put on my headphones. It's like the foam part like for like one of the ear cups is basically out. Like there's no more anything holding it in place. So it just slips and slides around everywhere. I'm gonna go with this. Force him to have an answer this turn. Um... He can't play most of his answers, which means I might be able to just draw more cards off of this, which would be ideal. Yeah, it's looking like I'm going to be able to draw my cards off this. Oh, I thought that cost one more mana. Fuck me dead. Uh, oh my god, I would have had so much card draw. Feels bad. Oh well. I kind of got baited by the fact that I could generate a fair amount of value by doing that, and guess punished but hey because we were able to kill his guy develop an okay-ish board master's call next turn hopefully that's gonna draw us the second step from buzzard to rectify our misplay but yeah oh, getting back to my headphones it's so tilting because i've had these headphones now for two years and i've had to replace the ear cups every single year like i had my first ones and then i replaced it to these ear cups and then i've had to replace it again to the new one or to the new ones that are coming in the mail. And it's so obnoxious, like... I, I think I've said it before that I use the Bo QC35s. Which are very, very good headphones. Like, they're super, super comfortable. It's just that I wish they were slightly better quality. Um, I might have just blew any chance I ever have of having a Bose sponsorship, but... Get on your fucking shit. Spending 400 plus dollars Canadian on a headphones and have them be not great quality... Feels bad. <laughs> Um, yeah. I kind of want to just slam this here. I'm just worried that he's going to have an answer to it. Screw it. If he has an answer to it, he has an answer to it. And if he doesn't, he's just dead, so... <laughs> uh, he's, like, super dead to this plus this. That would be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, plus 6. Like Omega Lethal. Hmm. Worst case scenario was exactly what just happened. Am I dead? 15. Not quite dead. Uh, is there... What are my outs? Like if I if I sat down here and thought about what my outs would be. Maybe this cleave here. It's not ideal. I'm just gonna play a couple of small dudes. And pass. Uh, hmm. Unfortunate. 
The big thing is if he goes off face and doesn't kill this off, I have lethal with this stuff. The advantage. Maybe be four. I can't deal with that. I have to deal with this. Three. That. Yeah, it's Xaxes. Oh, God. Hmm. Havish could still be lethal. Oh, if I still had poisonous, I was chilling. Leave three. This is still lethal, right? This exact seas as well. Oh my god. Oh, that was super close. Okay. Oh, I'm glad I did the math. Because in my head, I didn't do the math, and I'm just like, oh, this is fine. I, this should be lethal, right? And then I didn't do the math, and then it was lethal. I just had to do it in the right order. Because I, I forgot that I would have had two mana extra to uh, hero power. That the this guy only cost four, not five. I thought it cost five, and I was like, fuck, I'm one mana off lethal. But no. Ooh, big brain. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that was really, really good. I, I think that was very, very well played. Um, anyways, with that being said, how about let's queue up the next one and let's see how it goes. Alright guys, yeah, with that being said, I'll see y'all there. Alright, our next matchup is against, is against a rogue. That matchup took so long to find. I'm pretty sure that was a 3 plus minute queue. Which is kind of insane if you ask me. Um... I don't want to keep these just because they're really, really good in the early game. I think I do the half measure, keep the removal spell, keep the weapon to kill something. Alley Cat is so much better to go with that. Okay. Feels good, man. And we get the very pretty Sylvanas portrait. I actually love this portrait so much. It's so, so pretty, in my opinion. Oh, it's combo. F me dead. I, s I still really do need to stop swearing. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Focus on game, though. Harpoon gun here is going to be really, really good. Like, really, really good. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting messages from uh, school uh, group chats saying, like, like talking about, like, the entrance of school because we just started school again this, um, this week. Or last week, technically, but yeah, uh, this weapon is pretty solid here. I have a feeling it's Edwin, that's my guess, right? Actually, raise mods, okay. Giving this thing poisonous is like so good. <laughs> um, Okay, it sucks that we have really low-costed creatures at the bottom of our deck. Like, I was hoping to see a Shade Hound or a Tundra Rhino at the bottom to try and do, like, a surprise lethal. But Dread Scale is one of the best cards we're looking for, and so is Serpent Bloom. Giving, uh, your... Oh, it's Pillager. Never mind, we don't actually have time to do any of what I just said. what I wanted. Oh well. I wanted Wind Fury. Right now this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm one damage off lethal. That sucks. Is it Edwin? It might still be Edwin. No, it's Villager. This is not active, so it doesn't actually cleave and kill this, but I think I'm dead here. Hmm. 
exactly dead to double pillager. Oh, I missed the spell. Yeah. Oh well. We tried. Did not get there. What can you do? Uh, anyways. Uh, I guess let's just queue up the next one and pretend that never happened. Alright. Next is Shaman. I do want to keep this. I do like this curve. It's a little bit greedy, I do know that, but... Ah, screw it. I believe in my capability of playing this deck. I shouldn't, but I do. <laughs> okay, it's even. Even is not ideal. Um... Hopefully hit not the one one. I said not the one one, but okay. We can adapt poisonous onto this. Kill a, like a three two he plays or whatever. It's not what I wanted to see. That is so bad. What? Absolute. Huh. Interesting draw. The poisonous. Oh, it's not the poisonous. Okay, well, I want him to commit a lot of stuff to the board in one turn. <laughs> I have the combination. Uh, best draw my deck here would be Master's Call or Harpoon Gun. Either way, I get a tempo card, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Burn it now. I really don't want to burn it now. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I could be greedy for one more turn. I only take 9. I go down to 17. If he commits thing from the low, thing from below, thing from below here, I think I just win the game with Dread Scale. It's a big thing. Which is why I wanted to wait a turn. I would really like him to play the other two cards in his hand. I don't really want to commit it knowing that he could just play the card that doubles his tokens and then I cry. But I know it's a realistic possibility. I wonder if he's actually playing around the Dread Scale by holding things like Thing from the Below in his hand. Hmm. Very much tempted to just go Spring Pop a Starving Buzzard to draw two cards. for the 2-2. See what he commits. Right now, if I kill this... Yeah, yo, this is a problem. This is huge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven. I think it is actually worth. I die to. Uh, I can't wait. I can't actually wait is the problem. Uh, so the reason I can't wait is because. If I wait a turn or two, I will just die. Uh, or if I wait a turn, I could die to the second Totemic Surge, which is what I was scared of. Um, if he doesn't have the weapon, or Devolve, or one or the other. I had the only minion on two that is not an actual creature. That is absolutely infuriating. I died to this. This is the only minion on two that's not an actual creature. It's very obnoxious. I need to figure out a way to set up lethal for next turn. I don't think there's a way. To be fair, he might kill the 2-1. If he kills the Starving Buzzard, he puts me in a much better position. If that copies... Be 8-8. I lose the game, though. 
Hmm. How do I win from here? How do I win from here? How do I win from here? Hmm. It's actually super interesting because one of the things I'm trying to do, it's one of the my weakest points I find in this game, is I often play not to win, but I play not to lose. And that's like really bad. For that weapon. Okay. I need to try and find lethal here. This is weapon kills me. I have no taunt in my deck. Hmm. There's a way to get lethal here. The only way I see to get lethal is... I uh, missed. Was going to be to get a copy of Crackling Razor Ma. It's the only way I saw potentially to not die here. Oh. Tavish would have also worked. Oh well. I didn't see the lethal. This was not quite lethal. It was 6 plus 10. Or 6 plus 8, which was not 23. Trade, trade, trade. Some of that plus that was 3 plus... Or 6, 7, 8, 9... I was slightly off. If this wasn't an Ancient Watcher and was any minion that could attack, it was almost lethal. If it was a Millhouse, it was lethal, I believe. But yeah, I had to just hope he didn't have Wind Fury, I guess. In the Wind Fury, he had the Devolve. What can you do? Oh, well, let's just skip the next one and hopefully we can win this one. All right. Uh, ah, lol. Playing someone on my friends list. Um, I think I keep. Uh, I think I keep this whole hand. I have this into a ah uh, that gets killed. I can't spell. Oh, it's the even deck. Um, alright. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, that's, that's why I don't want to keep the 1-1. One, one. So we just got to eaten by that. Plus three health. Never plus three health. Lucky. Next turn is this. This gets corrupted. If he doesn't have an answer to any of this, this is gonna be huge. But I doubt that's gonna happen. Huh. Okay. Let's see if he has an answer. This should be the first time he plays something, so. That is the best answer in his entire deck. That is such a wrong play in case of Spring Paw. Spring's Paw cucks this play. What you do is you hit here. If you're really worried about the 1-1, one, one, you could coin to Hero Power to kill it. If I top deck Spring Paw, he gets super punished. Unlucky. I do have an insane next turn where I create a board full of 3-3s, three where his aggro deck should not realistically be able to deal with it. But, hey. What can you do? 
I don't think that deck has an answer to deal with a board full of 3-3s. Three if he doesn't kill the 1-1 one -one as well, it's 5-3-3s, three -three but I think the 1-1 one -one dies to his hero power. Unless he has a second uh, Plague Strike, in which case he can use, do that on the 3-2, use a 2-1 to trade into the 1-1, one -one, punch me in the face for 3, and I'm kinda screwed. Well, that's not what I wanted to see. Red Skill is a very good card for the future. I think I can just commit these here. That buffs your hand. Oh, I thought this buffed your beast on the board. I f up. I completely misread that card. Uh, I threw. If these were again, if this was a board of three threes, I was Omega fine. With this being a board of one ones, I'm pretty sure I lose. It's fine. My 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 plans are just top deck shade hound. That's what it is. Oh man, that was a really bad misplay. Really, really bad misplay. What outs do I still have? Harpoon gun would be a good out. Harpoon Gun would be one of the best outs in the deck. It's interesting to me how scared he is of just 1-1s. One Seeing that I just did a huge misplay. To be fair, Devouring Plague would be ginormous. And would be a very big cock. If he left them all up. Those not being three threes is actually devastating. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I deserve this loss. I I misplayed. <laughs> I straight up deserve this loss. Very like, I've never seen someone deserve a loss as bad as I deserve this one. Not gonna lie. Okay. Guess my only real out is a top deck serpent bloom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Um, no, I die. And uh, uh, just straight up lethal on board. I can't do math. Oh, yeah, I I threw. I threw exceptionally hard. Yeah, no, I I have no nothing to say. I just completely uh, huge misplay. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we have time for one last game. Let's not make that same mistake uh, this time. All right, guys. Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all there. All right. Another shaman. Let's not dip this time. Um. I like keeping these guys against this deck. I think keeping the poison is really, really important, especially because again, Dread Scale is probably my best card in this matchup. But oh, it's not the one I thought it was. Okay, I just run this out here because if he goes face, I have this to trade, which works. The other play was this, which I don't really like. The deck, uh, if he's running the current versions of Shadowwalk Shaman, they have less consistent board wipes. 
um, because they cut uh, Primal Dungeoneer, which I'm hugely against. I think that that is one of the worst cards to cut in the entire deck, personally. Keep this one in case I could figure out a way to bounce it. Wait, well, figure out a way. With Devouring Plague, I'd rather bounce this. It gives me two guys instead of this guy. It's one less mana to draw an additional card with Starving Buzzard is the real big reason. I think it's slightly better to keep this. One of the things with this deck is there's a lot of the super, super small micromanaging that leads to playing the deck optimally. Is so why I don't think this is one of the very few uh, uh, hard aggro decks because small little things like that are actually fairly large um, when it comes to playing this deck. So I'm just gonna commit and get huge punished and complain when my opponent has uh, Murloc plus Firemancer Flurg. When he goes Firemancer Flurg, Glug, or not Glug, um, Gerlaka Crawler or whatever his name is, the one who draws three and wastes my board and then I concede, I'm gonna be able to complain then, which is why I do this play. That's, that's how this works, right? That's, that's, yeah. All right, just gonna draw it off this, right? Firemancer Flurg. Just come at this now. I'm super far behind because I drew like all my super small guys, and I'm have a feeling he has Flurg in hand. If I would have, if he would have pulled Shade Hound, I would have won the game because these would have all been ginormous. He would have been obligated to have the Toxin as well, and on top of that, I mean, he would have just taken an additional eight damage here. Sorry, not Crawler Ravager. Yep. Oh well. Man, I don't know if I'm misplaying this deck. Like, if I'm just playing really, really horribly, horribly, but... The vision with the Dread Scale is really, really cool. I don't like Snow Flip or Penguin in the deck. I don't like the Pelican Diver in the deck. I want a second Shade Hound. And I want some of the bigger guys. I think the bigger guys is what allows you to take games you shouldn't realistically win. Yeah. A really good draw here. You see, like, I just drew Snow Flipper Penguin. This card does absolutely less than nothing. I drew nothing. That needs to die. That needs to die. I played a Master's Call and played my three minions I got off of it in one turn, and they did nothing besides kill a 2-3. That's so sad that I quite literally played a three mana card to draw three cards, and those three cards I drew killed a 2-3, and that's it. Huh. Maybe I can top the Cavish and then hit like a million of the two fours in a row, or the four twos in a row, and that can just kill my opponent. Let's go with that plan. I know the odds of that actually happening is like less than zero, right? But I can hope. I'm not, yeah, I don't know. The more I play this deck, the more I realize I'm just not a fan of this Hunter deck at all. I think I just, the, the bigger version is just so much more fun. When you're playing like Hydralodon, you're playing um, the Scorpion that pulls a minion out of your opponent's hand, you're playing all these really, really cool cards that feel like they're actually impactful. And here I'm just playing a whole bunch of cards that feel like they do nothing. Mm. I was hoping to draw Hope. Hope into Tavish was perfect. It was right, I, I can't play either of these. They're, they're quietly just dead cards that's about to get eaten by Mutinous. I should have played this so the Mutinous does not gain 6-5, but... You know what? If I die to a 10-9 Mutinous, I die to a 10-9 Mutinous. What can you do? Oh, low rolled. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, he wanted to get the damage in this turn, that's why. 
I use my poisonous, so even dread scale is not lethal if I draw it. Or well, it doesn't solve the problem. Also, I'd have to figure out a way to do this to deal with these, so yeah. I would have had my poisonous. Oh. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of this deck. This deck feels super weak. Again, I'm probably playing it wrong. I think the only re reason I won that first game was out of pure luck. I don't think I deserved it. To be fair, that last game I also feel like I lost against the Lich King. Um, the Death Knight. I feel like I lost that game because of a misplay. Like that, that game, I take 1,000% uh, responsibility for. I didn't get outplayed or anything, I think. I misread my card. <laughs> so, what can you do? It happens sometimes. Playing a card for the first time, it, it's bound to happen where you don't know what a card does, and you play it wrong, which, honestly, my bad. Don't do that. I was not a fan of this deck. This deck was actually very, very boring to play. Um... I was about to say boring, boring deck for a boring pack. <laughs> no, but honestly, if you're going to be playing, um, Beast Hunter, I mean, I do know this deck is good, right? Apparently Beast Hunter is tier one. I personally don't see it. Uh, I think Beast Hunter would be probably tier two. If I had to guess, I feel like decks in tier two are better than this deck. I feel like decks that are not even on Tempo Storm's tier list are better than this deck. Again, I might be misplaying the deck completely, which would explain to would explain why I think the deck is super bad. Um, I won't, I won't like write that off as a possibility, but yeah. Currently, apparently, this deck is tier two. Don't see that. I see this probably as a tier three deck. Uh, I'm current. I just opened up the Tempo Storm. Um, uh, their 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 tier list it says it's the fourth best deck in the game behind even Shaman Pirate Rogue and Free Shaman. Which I don't see. I think uh, even something like Quest Mage is better. And I don't think Quest Mage is tier 4. Like, I don't know. I think their tier lists are genuinely solid for tier 1. Where I can definitely see even Shaman Pirate Rogue being tier 1. But the rest of it, I feel like, is kind of just like... What decks do we see more of? And then they're just thrown on the tier list. But yeah, no. I would probably say Beast Hunter is at the top of tier one, tier 2. Or, sorry. Not in tier 2. At the top of tier 3, personally. Um, but yeah. Anyways. Yeah, if you're gonna be playing Beast Hunter, please play the big, bigger version. It's way more fun, um, way more interesting cards. Yeah. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys all in the next one, where hopefully we can get some more dubs. All right, guys. Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all there.